How's it going guys, Junior here with Amos. Thanks for being back on another video. In today's video, we're gonna be showing some parts that came in for the Challenger, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. We got some parts here in the boxes. We're outside currently. So, here they are. What's up, guys? All right, so this is gonna be the next uh, video, the next part on the Challenger build. So, I know a lot of people were saying, you know, we were just teasing. Well, we were just waiting on parts. So, what we went with is some QA1 goodies. Uh, we have, and we'll unbox this and show you guys, but this is gonna be a QA1 coilover kit for the e-body um, challengers, kudas, I don't know what else it includes but this is what we're going to be uh, putting in the car as far as getting the front end ready to drop in that coyote so um, you know follow along we're going to unbox everything show you everything that's in there and then we'll talk a little bit more what's going in there. Alright so let's unbox um, the stable box. See if we can get it all out of there. Struggle is real. Gonna have to get Junior's help here. <laughs> it's got staples. It's not that I couldn't open a box. No, it doesn't grip. Yeah, no. So now that we got it all open, so this is the QA1 coilover kit. Uh, I decided to go with this one. Uh, QA1 has really good price point as far as these kits here. Their fitment is really good on all their products. Uh, Junior has the uh, uh, two team member team and A arms on the Roush. The arms on the Mustang, so you know everything fit really well, and then. And so, you know, this one is it's just built really well. Uh, they have quality stuff, so I decided to go with them. And they have this coilover kit that gets rid of the torsion bars, which in the last video, we were able to fit the Coyote in there, but it was hitting on the K-member, which I was originally thinking of just buying a tubular K-member. But then those torsion bars were gonna be in the way of the headers, and the steering linkage is gonna be on the way of the oil pan on the Coyote. So with this one, it gets rid of the torsion bars, so there's no more, you know, none of that to get rid to be on the way, anyways. And then the steering, instead of being on the back of the tires, closer to the firewall, it's going to be on the front of the tires. And so with the steering on the front of the tires, then that gives us way more room for the oil pan. And you know, I could have changed the pickup on the oil pan, get a new oil pan, and all that, but. You know, still, I mean, the steering on this is going to be a rack and pinion. Um, this is going to have, and we're going to unbox everything, but I should come, you know, it has coilovers. And so with all that, it just makes it a complete kit that I can, you know, it has the Mustang 2 front end, pretty much, uh, the spindles, I guess, and everything all together. Um, so anyway, that's... That's where I was kind of on the fence. That's why we tested the engine, because I didn't know if I could just get the tubular K member uh, but after seeing everything was going to be in the way this was the way to go and I mean it, it looks really well made it's supposed to bolt down there pretty simple I think the hardest part is going to be take all the stuff out of there with all that rust so need some uh, tennis shots yeah I think I got mine a couple years back so we're going to keep unboxing all these just show you all the parts that come with it and then uh, we'll show you guys okay so this is all um, that we got so we have the control arm, not control arms. Spindles. <laughs> the spindles here, these are the Mustang 2 spindles. 
and uh, so when I get the brakes I have to go with brakes that are made for the Mustang 2 front end. Uh, this is something powder coated so we'll see. So it looks like this is one of the springs for the callover kit. Uh, and these springs go on these shocks which are you know made for the for the callover kit. So these are the callover shocks. They are adjustable, so it'll be a good good ride. Uh, I'm not gonna take everything completely out to where we're installing it here soon, but we have the control arms, so we have uppers and lowers, I think. This is the uppers, and they do have the ends. Um, I think some of those, they might be in some of these boxes, but uh, they have the adjustable ends, so you have a lot more adjustability for your camber and everything. Tubular, lowers. Uh, it does come with a rack and pinion that is like a fox body rack and pinion. And so the one thing that I might change, and they give you part numbers if you do, but is a manual uh, rack and pinion because I don't want to put a power steering pump on this. It would probably be a little bit lighter, but I think just, you know, running the power steering pump, the brackets are kind of pricey, and then, you know, it's just going to add a little bit extra cost where I can just get a manual rack and pinion for less. I already checked, and I could probably sell this. It's brand new. Someone that has a Fox body. And so do that. So... Um, there's a lot of little boxes that just have all the hardware, all the installation things. Um, one thing that I did decide to go with was these are the motor mounts. And these are made for a Gen 3 Hemi, I believe. Um, according to the box, let's see, these are, yeah, this is Generation 3 Hemi. It does come with the new pushings and everything which I'm glad they're not installed and these are supposed to go right in here and bolt onto the Hemi so I chose these because these have a flat part right here and so I'm hoping I don't I'm 100% these aren't gonna fit the Coyote but I can make a plate that's gonna bolt on to the Coyote engine and use these for the most part so with this it eliminates me having to fabricate a whole new mount. You know, it has the bushings and everything. It has this part going that way. I might have to, you know, cut this flange and maybe, or maybe this tube and extend it or shorten it. But that's gonna be a lot easier to do than fabricating a whole new one. So, you know, that, that's why I went with these and they are made from QA1, so it, it all bolts together, um, but I will, more than likely, from what I see here on the side, there is a part where like your motor mounts would go and, you know, a couple of these bolts almost line up with this engine, but I do have some thick steel. I can use my plasma to cut the right pattern and then weld it just to here. And that'll be, you know, way easier for my motor mount. The bushing will be here on the bottom. So that's where it's at on this. Uh, next step, actually, I also got floor pans so if you see this big box over here and this one that's the whole floorboard on the car I'm gonna do that first just because I want there's so many holes in there and we can go look now but um, if I get it kind of you know running I can't even put a seat in there because there's a lot of holes on that floorboard so I'm gonna start doing the floorboard but we're also gonna throw this in there and then I like I said I do have to get the brakes to go with this kit because none of that's gonna bolt on so once I put this in there I can't put the tires on there because you know those brakes none of the hub is gonna fit with this kit so I do have to get either temporary brakes or whatever kit I'm gonna go with right away which you know it's I'm gonna have to save up for that um, the nice thing is I have it out there I can just put it in jack stands and kind of keep going so that's the plan so well, that's pretty much it. Uh, we put everything away, but uh, we're going to be starting on that here soon. Next video. Well, we have one other videos kind of, you know, that we have been working on some other things, but that's the next challenger video. It's going to be the floorboards and then that QA kit. 
We're gonna put a link to QA1 on the description. Go check them out, whatever you have. Trucks, cars, they make really good suspension. It works for racing, you know, drag, street, everything. So it's built to drive. So check them out. We're gonna put that link. Uh, other than that, stay tuned for the next video. Any questions, comments, leave them below. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.